So, you see this dork right here? Well, that's me, and in today's video we're doing a full day of eating to minimize fat gain and optimize muscle growth, aka lean bulk. So yeah, let's go. I'm basically going to show you what I eat to build muscle without gaining a ton of necessary fat because you don't need that. I've seen especially like a lot of young teenagers think that they have to dirty bulk to gain a shit ton of mass and in the short run that can be fine but in the long run it's definitely not doable and it would be best to just lean bulk from the beginning because then you don't have to waste time cutting down in the future simply because you're not going to add a shit ton of extra body, body fat so uh, yeah that's basically what we're going to be doing in this video I hope you're excited about that I just made my breakfast and the breakfast it's a pretty solid meal uh, it is three bread slices with one kiwi and one bread slice with cottage cheese and blueberry jam I strongly re recommend something like this just fuck <laughs> Bam. I'm gonna keep this short because I don't know if anyone cares but I bought some books a few weeks ago right after Christmas and now I just received them so yeah we got like six books here and I'm trying to read daily so this is definitely going to help me to stick to that habit habit to get some books that I actually enjoy I haven't read them but I've heard a lot of great stuff about all of them so yeah pretty excited to check them out and yeah if you don't read I'm not gonna push you to read but I would recommend it. It doesn't really matter how jacked you are if you have the mind of a potato. So yeah, read your books. <laughs> the next meal coming up is oatmeal and this is something that tastes delicious as long as you make it correctly. The first thing we're doing is of course adding raw oats and then we're going to add water. Just make sure that it's enough liquid that the oats actually float in the bowl. And then you're going to put it in the microwave for two to three minutes. So the time depends on how much oats you got in the bowl, but then we're going to add protein powder and make sure it's a good tasting one. And then you're just going to add some milk to make the consistency a bit better. And after that, the secret weapon, a calorie sweetener. I recommend this one from my protein. And the last ingredient, a fruit. I would either recommend blueberries, apples or bananas. I know what you're thinking and I kind of agree. It doesn't look like the most appetizing meal in the world, but it tastes good as long as you use a sweetener and as long as you use a protein powder that actually tastes good. Then this is going to slap. So yeah, try it if you want to have a banger pre workout meal. If not, feel free to don't try it. <laughs> So we're pretty soon about to go into upper body session, which we're going to do some heavy benching. I haven't done that in a while. Now I'm just going to sip on some lemon flavored pre-workout. It's actually pretty good. It's from my protein. As is it's lemon, it's pretty sour though. But what I want to talk about before we head into the workout is something very important to me. So yeah, let's get into it. You see my Mac over here, the one that I'm doing my entire life on, where I'm editing videos, where I'm planning stuff, where I'm making workout programs. It's ruined. I destroyed it. You know how. I was sitting on my Mac, I was just typing on some workout programs, and then I spilled my pre-workout on it, and it completely stopped working. My first reaction, sure, I was a bit mad just because... I was just going to yeah take a photo for Instagram of my workout for that day and when I went to grab my phone I just spilled the pre-workout all over the keyboard. So completely my fault, was a dumbass mistake. This thing ain't cheap you know and I basically have my life on it. So I don't know when this video is going live because I have nowhere to edit my videos and such on now. Yeah, it fucking sucks that my Mac is broken. I'm not turning this into like, ah, everything everything is positive. No, this isn't positive, but there can still come some positives out of this situation. Uh, for example, I've had this Mac for a while and it's not like super good. It just takes a toll on the Mac when you're editing such huge video files. So uh, if I get a better Mac, I'll at least be more efficient with that. Fuck dwelling about the past, fuck thinking about the shit we can't control, fuck thinking about the shit that already happened. We just gotta look forward and make the most out of it. Like of course it sucks, but there are at least some benefits that are going to come from them, especially if I like upgrade to a better Mac where I can be more efficient. So yeah, we just gotta take everything with a grain of salt and not be so stressed about stuff because it is what it is. I hope you found that somehow relatable. 
because yeah that sucks but it's just life that happens we can't control every situation in life and things happen unexpectedly so the best thing to do then is just to accept whatever happens and yeah fully embrace it don't think about what could have happened let's go Hola amigos, what's poppin'? It's me, Magnus Polken. Well now, yeah, we're going to start off with bench press and I'm just getting back to benching, but I can already notice, yeah, that I'm getting some good progress, which is to be expected since I've benched more in the past. And yeah, I just upped my frequency to twice a week. And after one or two months, I will up it to three times a week where I will focus more on strength. But overall, it feels pretty good. I actually just made a strength program, which was on my old Mac. But you know, now that that is destroyed, I ain't got one and I would make one, but I'm just very busy doing other stuff at the moment. But as soon as that's done, I'm going to make myself a very long and detailed power building program. Super excited about training nowadays. I'm planning on starting creatine pretty soon. Um, yeah, I can also start to train my legs properly again because they recovered from the hamstring tear. I'm really starting to, yeah, just fall back in love with training again because if I'm going to be completely honest, you know, it's because my hamstring injury and a few other things because of the lockdown and such, I haven't really been enjoying training as much as I did when I started out. And now I can finally yeah, feel just the motivation coming because yeah i'm enjoying it more and i'm actually planning making more training vlogs simply because yeah surprisingly a lot of people have asked me to make more of those so look forward to those in the upcoming months and weeks i'm pretty excited yeah just to pump out content because when i feel sick the videos will be sick and when i feel sick uh, my workouts are sick and when the workouts are sick my gains are sick so yeah i'm just feeling great lately but yeah anyways this has been the workout now let's get into the meals <laughs> So I just got home from that workout, it was a pretty good one and now I'm going to have my post-workout meal and that's a pretty basic, I feel kind of like a bro for eating this but it's basically just going to be cereal, milk and protein powder so yeah pretty basic but it tastes good and it's very easy to digest and eat and has a lot of protein and carbs which is what we want after the workout so uh, yeah let's get into it. So here we got the post-workout meal and by the way when I said that it's good that it has a lot of protein and carbs that doesn't mean that you should eat a ton extra protein after training. The best thing to do regarding protein is to distribute it equally throughout the day because yeah the anabolic window yes it actually does exist but it exists for way longer than most people think so it's just not 30 minutes after training it exists for multiple hours or about like five hours since the last meal that's when you start to see a slow drop in muscle protein synthesis uh, uh, my cat is trying to ruin this shot so i better eat this quickly So now we're moving over to dinner. It's going to be a pretty good meal. It's basically fried chicken with uh, macaroni and uh, peas. I'm also going to read a book while I'm eating it. So I'm trying to make it a daily habit to read every single day. So I either read something self-development such as the book that I got here, The Happiness Equation. It kind of looks like a book that a four-year-old would read. I'm also reading like uh, training stuff in regards to the science behind it. So I'm sometimes reading that when I want to up my knowledge gains when it comes to training. But anyways, I'm going to read while eating this meal. I'm trying to spend less time watching YouTube videos because I'm a complete addict. So I'm going to read while I'm eating. So yeah, after this, we're going to buy a new PC, which is pretty sick. So I'll see you then. Hey Siri, what does doc mean? Docked. <laughs> what does docked mean, Siri? Hey Siri, what does docked mean? Which word? D oh, F you. <laughs> Yeah.
it looks completely like my older Mac, but still, it's pretty sick. So because of this thing right here, I'm feeling a lot less stressed out because yeah, it might have been expensive as fuck, but you know, it's just going to keep me accountable to actually chase my dream, so whatever, and it's just going to make me edit even better videos because it was a hassle to do it on my old Mac because it was very slow. So yeah, excited about that. Now I'm going to have my last poverty meal for today, just like a bread slice with ham and cream cheese and mustard. Sounds pretty weird, but it actually tastes good. So yeah, don't knock until you've tried it. But yeah, you're going to see the calories macros up on screen for today. I hit it pretty spot on, to be honest. I'm aiming for around 20, 2800 calories at the moment. So yeah, it has been a pretty good day. Remember that a lean bulk better than a dirty bulk. Don't dirty bulk, lean bulk. <laughs> I will leave you there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, please like the video. But if you didn't like the video, dislike it and tell me what I can improve on in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. Subscribe if you haven't. It's free and it helps me out greatly. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna enjoy me this piece of ham right here. Yeah, peace. <laughs> ah.